Wow. Who are you? It's Beer Drink, and this is three things that every man should hate about all elite wrestling. Number three, the women's division. You don't need that. One thing about a women's division, in order to have a women's division, the talent pool needs to be fucking deep. Y'all got one wrestler that is decent in the women's division, and I don't even think that she's signed to your women's division, and that's Tessa Blanchard. I don't think she's part of y'all's women's division. Get rid of the women's division. I fast forward through every women's match. I think there's one chick that I actually like. I think her name was like Shauna or Shayna or some shit like that. She was decent. All the rest of them suck. Absolutely no shade to Brandy Rose. I actually like Randy Rose as a fucking uh, character, <laughs> but not as a wrestler too much, because she kind of sucks as a wrestler, so the women's division of AEW absolutely fucking sucks. AEW's women's world champion is a 70-pound Japanese schoolgirl. What the fuck is that all about? The only women's division in the entire plane of fucking professional wrestling up today that is even decent is NXT. NXT has the best Women's wrestling on the planet right now. Don't at me. Isn't that what the youngins say? But anyhow, Dr. Britt Baker and y'all constantly, Dr. Dr. Britt Baker, Britt Baker dentist. Who gives a fuck? She sucks. Okay? She sucks. There's absolutely nothing that you can do cool with your women's division because, like I said, the talent pool is fucking shallow and you don't have even two to three that could even work with each other and fucking put on a, a, a good match. I haven't seen not one good match out of your women's division. I hate women's wrestling, okay? I hate it. I hate women's wrestling. I hate I hate women's wrestling. I hate women's wrestling. Definitely get rid of it because it sucks. Um, Dr. Britt Baker. <laughs> <laughs> women's wrestling sucks women's wrestling absolutely sucks <laughs> and it sucks and it's and your women's division sucks but um but okay, i'm gonna say what ah uh, uh, that's kind of what i like if you're good if you're if you're a female if you're a female if you're a female professional wrestler and you're any good you're probably signed to the to a wwe brand number two and if you know me probably know what i'm where i'm going with this nyla rose he wiped his hand there after he ripped his dick off. Nyla fucking Rose. Anyway, I don't give a flying fuck. Nyla Rose, first trans openly transgender wrestler in professional wrestling, actually had a title match for the first AEW's Women Championship versus Rio, the 70 pound Japanese schoolgirl. This was the first time to where I actually was like, you know what? Take my intelligence and flush it right down the toilet. I don't give a fucking fuck. Give this match to Rio. Rio has to win. Do you fucking understand how fucking ridiculous this would be if your first fucking women's champ wasn't even a fucking woman. Crazy that they have Nyla Rose in the women's division competing and just making a big deal out of it. They have old fucking Jim Ross. Oh, she's off, she's off, she's And they, everybody's just selling it, man. I don't give a damn. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. Not a homo fucking phobe. I'm not a trans fucking phobe or whatever the fuck other names that you want to fucking fucking make up next year. I'm none of those things, but I just don't think that it's right to have a fucking former man compete with fucking women in a competitive fucking sport, especially a sport the way you're fucking dropping motherfuckers on their fucking neck. <laughs> Got a lot of flack for the Fallon Fox video. The first transgender female that was allowed to actually fight in the women's division in mixed martial arts. That's actual full contact fighting. What kind of fucking, fucking part of the game is that? In no situation on the planet would any woman, one, two, three, Nyla Rose, I'm sorry, man. This motherfucker is probably, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know his, uh, his height, but he's pushing about 300 pounds. Come on, man. Not a fan of Nyla Rose at all. Not a fan of the women's division. And that is the one thing that I don't like about uh, AEW, man. Fucking Nyla Rose in this right here. What the fuck was that? That brings us 
to number one. And this wasn't a thing that's fucking going to reoccur. I hope not. But it was just that action on being the elite. Scorpio Sky was actually my favorite fucking wrestler in AEW, man. But after seeing that, I'm just like, nigga. What the fuck was that, man? I don't give a damn if you're friends. I don't give a fuck if you thought that it was just a funny idea. I don't give a damn if it was just something that y'all fucking did. An uh, inside joke. I don't give a damn what it is. You're going to have to own that for the rest of your life. If you have kids and they see that shit, and I damn sure hope that it ain't a boy. Because this nigga's going to be looking at you real funny, dog. He goes to that from being a fucking mixed martial artist. A lot of people don't know this, but Scorpio Sky was a mixed martial artist back in like 2014. I think he went like 2-0 and or 2-1 and as an amateur. Never did go pro, but he actually looked good as a mixed martial artist. So how the fuck do you go from this Scorpio Sky? Twitch all night. Too little, too soon. Wow! Oh, wow! I came to win, and that's exactly what I just did. To this. Please don't ever do that again, man. Don't ever do that again. Because everyone wants to put race in everything, right? Not as a black man. Just as a motherfucker. Just as a motherfucker in general. Just as a nigga. Just as a dude in general. Don't do that. Don't do that. Ah! Anyhow, folks, it's been real. It's beer drank. Those were three things that every man should hate about All Elite Wrestling, a.k.a. AEW. Scorpio Sky, don't ever do that again. Rio, good luck on your next title offense. Nyla Rose, f*** off.